everyone is guilty of doing this as a kid. But does anyone know the actual cool scientific experiments that can be done with candy? Everyone thinks STEM has to be difficult and confusing, but it can be fun too. I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite science experiments that uses candy. The experiment I will be demonstrating and explaining is called the candy rainbow. In order to complete this experiment, you need M&Ms or Skittles, a plate, a measuring cup, and warm water. The first step is to arrange your candy in a circle around the outside of the plate. I will be using Skittles. Next, you need to fill your measuring cup with warm water. There is no exact measurement because the amount of water is dependent on the size of your plate. After that, you want to pour the water into the center of the plate until the candy is halfway submerged. Make sure to not touch the candy. The colorful rainbow effect you will begin to see comes from the candy coating dissolving into the water. In this case, it's classified as dissolution under the umbrella term dissolving, since it involves a solid changing into a liquid. The coating is made up almost entirely of sugar with a little bit of food coloring. When the coating dissolves, the sugar and food coloring mix into the water to form a solution, or a chemical mixture. Now let's take a closer look. Solutions like this like to be balanced. If there's a lot of sugar and food coloring in one part of the water, but not a lot in another, that's unbalanced. To get balanced, the solution will gradually spread out from areas of high concentration, which is around the candy, to areas of low concentration, which is to the center of the dish, so that all parts of the water have about the same amount of sugar and food coloring. That's what you see happening as the rainbow starts to move away from the candy. This process is called diffusion. The colors will spread towards each other and then stop, forming a line where they meet. That's because the spots where they meet have the same overall amount of sugar and food coloring, even though the colors are different. Diffusion won't mix these solutions together. Well, not right away at least. Eventually, the food coloring will separate from the sugar to diffuse on its own, and the whole dish will become the same brownish color as you can see start to happen. There are many different variations that can be explored with this experiment. I'm going to explore the effect of different temperatures. This time, I will be using M&Ms as my candy of choice to show how this experiment works with both Skittles and M&Ms. One plate of candy will be exposed to hot water, and the other plate will be exposed to cold water. Let's see which plate completely diffuses first. As you can see, the hot plate is diffusing faster and will diffuse first. This makes sense because since the temperature of the water is hotter, it makes the entire solution hotter. If the solution is hotter, then the energy and movement of the molecules will increase. Since the molecules have more energy and are moving faster, they will spread out and diffuse faster, which is why diffusion happens quicker at higher temperatures. The next time you want to call STEM boring, just remember this fun scientific experiment that uses candy. This has been the Candy Rainbow with Melissa Wade.